Lysine is one of the essential amino acids that we cannot make on our own and since the 1950s has been recognized to be a needed factor to produce a positive nitrogen balance, seen by some to be a necessary factor to bring about an anabolic state able to build muscle. So that begs the question, does this mean that lysine supplements can make you bigger or stronger? So we have this investigation, the effects of a controlled eight-week metabolic ward-based lysine supplementation on muscle function, insulin sensitivity, and leucine kinetics in young men. Basically, 40 well-nourished and undernourished young men, basically college students, are put on a low lysine diet and a high lysine diet. More specifically here, the low lysine diet was one that provided only 15 milligrams of the amino acid per kilogram of body weight, while the higher lysine diet provided a whopping 80 milligrams of lysine per kilogram body weight. Now, for those of us who are not into the metric system, let's put this into perspective. If you weighed 170 pounds, you'd be getting about one gram of lysine a day on the low lysine diet and about six grams on the high lysine diet. Now, to test muscle strength, the individuals in this study were not put on a weightlifting program per se, but rather the researchers just tested hand grip strength, which is a very common strength test in the clinical setting, but I don't think it's as realistic as something like a deadlift or a bench press. However, regardless of all that, what happened in this study? Well, these researchers noted that there was greater hand grip strength, about 7.5% greater to be exact, in those who consumed a higher lysine diet compared to those who consumed less, who incidentally showed no improvements in hand grip strength. Now, on the flip side, however, lysine did not appear to enhance muscle growth. So no hypertrophy occurred, at least in the forearms, which is what was measured in this study. So all this leads the researchers to basically conclude that lysine supplements led to a small but positive effect on muscle strength. And I will leave it up to you to consider whether a 7.5% improvement in hand grip strength is significant or not. Again, keep in mind, however, that hand grip strength does not necessarily mean lysine supplements will improve your bench press or squat performance. We have another investigation, this one including 16 men who were given either 1,500 milligrams of lysine and 1,500 milligrams of arginine, another amino acid, to see if these amino acids would raise human growth hormone levels when used alongside a strength training program. These researchers concluded that while neither lysine or arginine boosted HGH levels when used in combination with strength training, interestingly, the amino acids did raise growth hormone levels when they were taken at rest without exercise. This study may be one reason why you might notice both lysine and arginine in some growth hormone enhancing dietary supplements. Okay, so much for the younger guys. What about older guys? So here we have this investigation of 17 men in their 70s who are given a amino acid drink that contained all of the essential amino acids, including 1,800 milligrams of lysine, and they also performed a progressive strength training program that consisted of three sets of leg extension exercises that occurred three times a week for three months. Results here showed that unfortunately this broad spectrum amino acid supplement containing lysine did not work any better than exercise by itself. In other words, there was no improvements in muscle strength compared to older guys who just lifted weights. So my takeaway from all this is that clearly better studies on lysine and exercise need to be conducted. And my question for you is, do you take lysine supplements and do you think it helps your exercise performance? Let me know below. Until next time, I am Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.